Have you been sold on the idea of working 40 hours a week for 40 years to retire on 40% of the, your previous income? Have you ever felt like you're always chasing your tail, constantly going from one task to the next, never really feeling like you're getting on top of it all, unable to take a breath and truly relax, even to the point of not being able to get a fully fulfilling night's sleep, only to repeat the process day after day, week after week, and potentially year after year before retiring to live on less than you're excited about while you're working full time. Why has this kind of thinking become acceptable or even the norm? Could it be because we've become the ultimate consumers, keeping up with the Joneses? Our car, the vehicle designed to get us from one place to the other, becomes a status symbol, or your house becoming a determining factor in how successful you are in the game of life. Why do we allow advertising to govern how we live? Why do we need the new iPhone 6 when the 5 works perfectly well? How much does that new thing really cost you? Have you calculated how much of your time, the most valuable commodity you have, you're giving up in order to have the latest, greatest gadget, kitchen or car? Do you want to be a millionaire? Why? So that you can want to be a billionaire? What's the point? My point is that most people don't really know what they want or what is truly important to them. And those few that do know, many are focusing on the priorities, many sorry, are not focusing on the priorities that will bring this lifestyle into existence. Most are constantly influenced by the group think. We are surrounded by co-workers, well-meaning friends and family that want us to think and act as they feel that we should think and act. Now, we're still... It could be some clever dick on TV that's manipulating your mind to help line their pockets. For example, have you seen the latest Jeep advertisement on TV? Here, here's how it goes. Buy a Jeep for forty dollars or $50,000 on finance that will keep you working another three years to pay off. Then they paint a picture of you having an amazing weekend away with your family. Makes no sense to me. Why not just take your current vehicle and the 40k and have a three month holiday? What do you do when you find your diggings in self a hole? Stop fucking digging, that's what. Take some time to ask yourself, what's truly important to me? A million dollars? Or a millionaire lifestyle? Let me explain. I believe it's the lifestyle, happiness and freedom that you believe that you'll gain by having a million dollars. The freedom to do as you please every day. The toys and the holidays and all that are great, but the real reason is you want to be happy, correct? Happiness is the goal. So we're working 40 plus hours a week doing something you don't really enjoy Bring you happiness? Now imagine yourself. You have the flash new car. You take the family on a four-week holiday. Ask, how can I get that feeling without trading my life away? It makes no sense to try and make yourself happy in the short term by digging your hole deeper. This is creating more pain, not true happiness. In this day and age, so many of us are stressed to the point of having to medicate ourselves simply to continue the daily rat race of life that we had a hand in designing. We need to find a way to deal with the cause, not patch up the symptoms. Now, I'm not for one moment saying that you should not take medication if you're struggling. If things are not good for you, 
Get all the help that you can and don't for one second feel embarrassed about it. I am suggesting, however, that you begin to look for the long-term solution. Therefore, treating the cause rather than the effect. Makes sense, right? Now, I believe that we can have our cake and eat it too. Why not have enough money to do all the things that are important to you and do something that invigorates and inspires you each day? For you, that may be having that freedom to choose what you do every day. Work if you choose to work. Play if that's what you feel like. Think back to school. We would play, then study. Play, then study, and finish at three o'clock. That sounds better to, them, to me than working nine to five and eating on the run. Guys, life's short. So be happy and live every day to the max. The alternative sucks. Being dictated to by life and going to work because it's Monday, that's crazy. You have to work because it's Monday? Fuck that. You should work when you choose to work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not lazy. Far from it. But I don't ever want to be told what to do and when to do it. If that's your thing, that's okay. I just really don't believe that that's the way life is meant to be. I'm guessing now that if you have listened to this program... For this long, it's not your ideal situation either. So let's talk about an alternative. How can we start living an inspired life, full of energy, excitement, and passion? I want you to ask yourself, what do you do better than everyone else? You're a genius. You have something that others can only dream of. You can change people's lives, and not only that, you will love doing it, and feel more and more empowered each and every time you're engaged in it. Earning money doesn't have to be exchanging your life for money. Why don't you decide to have your cake and eat it too? It's only a decision away, and it starts by deciding to live on your terms. So why don't people do this? One word for you, fear. Fear disguises itself in many different forms. And here are just a few of the more obvious types. Fear of what other people think and or say about you. Now guys, what they think about you is none of your business. And the crazy part about this one is that often they don't even have what you're striving for. True happiness. But we're still concerned about what they might think. Another fear could be, what if I can't buy my family all the stuff that I used to while trying to buy their happiness? Forget it. They will have you back, better than any crap that you could buy for them with money. And here's one of the biggest fears of all, the fear of change. Stepping away from the evil you know for the potential bliss you'll experience. Or, if you're like me, leaving something you love to do, hoping that you'll love the new thing even more. And we must overcome these fears if we're to live the life that we've imagined. It all starts with one small step. One step becomes another. Forget the magic bullet and take one small step. Let's take away the power of this fear by making a list of the worst that could happen if you take the leap of faith and follow your dreams. Now ask yourself, is there anything that you could not come back from? Remember, this is worst case scenario and not likely to happen anyway. Fear is broken down when investigated. It's a coward and will crumble in front of your eyes. You have the power inside you to kick it out of your life. 
Now let's paint a picture by writing a few paragraphs of what your life will be like if you make some changes. It's now time to dream like a child. Vividly imagine what your life will be like in three months, three years, and even 30 years from now. Design the life of your dreams, and let's start living the life you've imagined. What kind of person will you be to your family when you are constantly in a peak state and giving them your best? What are you going to do with your free time that you have? What could you do for your community? Decide on the income you want and imagine the joy you're going to feel by focusing on your gifts. Every person has something special that they are meant to bring into this world. And it's the same thing that's going to make you feel alive. Find someone that's living your dream and ask him or her, can I do it? Get ideas from them. Don't talk to the people stuck in the same reality as you. Here's a story for you. One day a man was walking along the beach and he saw another man fishing in the surf with a bait bucket beside him. As he drew closer, he saw that the bait bucket had no lid and had live crabs inside. Why don't you cover your bait bucket so the crabs don't escape, he said. You don't understand, the man replied. If there's a crab in the bucket, it would crawl out quickly and easily. However, when there are many crabs in the bucket, if one tries to crawl up the side, the other crabs will grab it and pull it back down so that it will share the same fate as the rest of them. So it is with people. If one tries something different, get better grades, better jobs, improve themselves, escape their environment, or dream big dreams, other people will try and drag them back down to share their fate. Moral of the story, if you were the only person that had to work 40 hours a week, doing something you didn't really enjoy, while all your friends were living the life of their dreams, you'd drop everything in a heartbeat to chase your dreams and goals. Your colleagues... They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay because they like you and they don't want and if you leave, what are they going to do? So they come up with all sorts of fear-based stories to keep you in the bucket. It's your life. You're the one with your hands on the steering wheel. You have the choice of what road to take. Action is the key. Small steps are so much better than no steps at all. Take a weekend away to think and make a plan of action. It may help to get a coach to hold you accountable and provide support and encouragement because you will be swimming against the current for a while and it's always good to have a helping hand. Your coach could be anyone that is a dream builder, not a dream stealer. Stand guard at the gates of your mind And start to take real control of your life. Stop making excuses and dream big. I believe in you. You can do it. You are a creator and you have the right to live your dreams. My name is Clint Morris and I'm the head coach at Total Impact Coaching. Our mission is to provide you with all the tools, motivation and direction to help you make your goals and dreams a reality. If you like what you heard today and you want to find out a bit more about how I can help you, I invite you to take advantage of my free introductory coaching session. Please check availability at www.totalimpactcoaching.com and email me your preferred time.